Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and to the Making the Red Eyes Meta series, I guess is what it is. Um, yeah, obviously it's been a little while since I've uploaded a video overall and even longer since I've uploaded a Red Eyes profile or anything to do with the series. So obviously I've been testing, been trying out a few things. A few of the synchro builds have just not really worked out, have not really helped. Um, you need too much to get going. So I've gone for a more controlly build in a way um, with a little bit of synergy, a little bit more towards the rank seven plays. Um, so where we're gonna utilize the flare metal. And actually, this is probably the best performing deck I've had so far. So yeah, really, really like it. There is a few changes that I'll, I will wanna make. Um, I need to figure out some few things, take some stuff out, put some stuff in and we'll see how it works. But overall, I only lost one round at locals and that was because they were playing Manadium and they drew called by both games. So obviously they tried to search for their first field spell with the Scareclaw of Link 1. I ashed it, they called by it, they proceeded to just go off, negate my flare metals because I won the dice roll and then just continue and in game 2 um, I had a lot, um, they dropleted, negated both my monsters but when I spears to bounce to obviously tribute itself, he called by it, which is again that would have got me probably. So, not only would I have bounced one of their cards, I would have then used one of their next cards with a card that I'll show you in the deck profile, and then I would have had another interaction on top of that. So, yeah, with that called by, he stopped like three interactions. So, yeah, and um, called by is a very good card, and it just feels bad that he drew it two games in a row. So, uh, fuck you, John is all I can say really um, but yeah let's get into the profile guys I'm sure obviously I've probably put a picture on the profile on my on the thumbnail so you know what this kind of is and um, yeah performed really well so with the red eyes cards we're obviously going for two red eyes black dragon I'm thinking about bumping this up to three because obviously you send it with your meteor dragon and then you have one in hand and if you draw the other one you kind of don't have any more in your deck for Red Eyes Fusion, so I've really been considering bumping this up to three. Um, one Dark Magician, again, I drew this in one of my games, but with a little tech I've got inside, it doesn't particularly matter if I draw it, um, but I'll show you what that is. And then obviously, one Black Stone, this was actually really good. This, is, this was a subscriber that suggested to play this, and yeah, overall it's not a good normal summon. You don't particularly want to see it. It's nice to get rid of off one for one, um, but just having it engraved to be able to continue get to get your resources back is um, really nice. Then obviously three blackmail. This is what you really want to open. This is like the best card I think for the deck at the moment, um, which is embarrassing really because this card came out ages ago. Three meteor black dragon, the next best cards. Um, like I said, obviously we. If you open this, you're always using one, so you only have one left in deck. So that's why I've been considering bumping Red Eyes up to another one, um, but we'll have to see how we get on. One alternative, um, this is a shit card, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but you need this for a two card combo to end on a Spheres and Flare Metal, so yeah. Uh, one darkness metal again one of the, uh, the probably the third best card really probably goes black metal meteor and then darkness but yeah then obviously red eyes fusion for the follow-up um, you can add it from meteor when you banish it from grave not the turn it was sent there though and then you've got one one for one uh, one for one's in here just to have like another copy of um, metal dragon um, so yeah basically we've got four levels and that's the best way to do it, I think, personally. And then for an honorary card, I'm playing the one Albaz. So obviously with Albaz, we're gonna summon this from our Spheres on our opponent's turn, and that's where I was saying. So Spheres would bounce a card, Albaz would fuse with another card, and then the Mirror Jade or whatever you make afterwards is then gonna be another interaction. So that's why I've got the one Albaz in here. You can summon this from hand with Spheres as well, even if you draw it, so it doesn't matter. That's why I'm only playing the one, it doesn't matter. But um, yeah, that would have been the play. I would have won that. We would have gone to a game three, but it is what it is. So then, the new sort of controlly build that we're playing, obviously, is Kashtira. 
So obviously, just alone, Kashtira is a very good deck. It's not just a shifter deck. They still set up a good, they're still resilient. They can still play a lot of hand traps, a lot of interaction, and just continuously banishing your opponent's resources, even from their extra deck as well with Unicorn. Just really, really, really good. And um, yeah, the only annoying thing is sometimes if you open only Kashtira stuff, you end on a Kashtira board, which is not Red Eyes. And the only thing that would be more is if you end up with a really good hand, you can end up with like um, a, Shangri a Shangri La and a Flare Metal on your board. So, yeah. So, obviously, three Fenrir, three Unicorn. These are basically one cards to make Flare Metal. So, both those are really important. I play one Scareclaw Kashkatira just for like another body just to be able to summon. Two Rise Heart, um, just because obviously we don't want to have, I don't want to play too many Kashtira and I think this is just enough. I don't play Ogre or Prep because again, this is just another way to have maybe like a Fenrir on board with a Flare Metal or a Shangri-La and, and a Flare Metal just so that we've got protection. You know, obviously to get going, we've obviously got three Planet, I'm only playing two Kestosis and only two Birth. Again. We don't want to open too much of the Kashtira stuff because we obviously we're playing Red Eyes. And although we have more Kashtira cards, that's just because they've got more Kashtira cards than there is good Red Eyes cards. So we have don't really have much of a choice. Um, Birth is obviously still very good because you can special unicorn. Say look, you already open um, Kashtiosis. You can special unicorn, unicorn effect to add Birth. Then you can activate Birth and then you can normal summon your Red Eyes just playing red eyes if you really wanted to so that's why i like birth um it's pretty good um so yeah so yeah we're on the cash tier stuff um it definitely was better and to be fair all my hands were okay i had an even mix um of the cash tier stuff and what i was able to do was bait a lot of interactions with the cash tier stuff and then move into the red eye stuff and just play from there because obviously you don't need to use your normal so you can just go um just have to be careful. If you open um, Fenrir and you add, where is it? Yeah, so if you open Fenrir and you open, so yeah, you open up Fenrir, you add Rise Heart, you need to do your Red Eyes plays now, realistically. Because um, once you special this, you're locked into Xyz, so you won't be able to make spheres. So you've got to go Fenrir, add, then you could go normal summon Black Metal, do all that little play. You should, if you opened another, level seven red eyes monster, then you should be able to make a flare metal and a spheres. Then you special your rise heart, and then you can obviously make Shangri-La with this, and then you can summon later on in your opponent's turn another Fenrir. So um, just bear that in mind, just gotta play carefully and well, and don't lock yourself into Xyz too early. Then obviously the one, the one good thing that was Better than this, obviously the heavy synchro builds, you can't play as many hand traps, but in this build you can play a bit more. So obviously I was playing three drone lock bird. Um because although this is not good against the fire decks really, um there's not many fire decks in my locals. Um, I think everyone's a bit sick of it, a bit bored of it, so they're not really playing that. So I've got a lot of like I've got U Bell, um there was Co Talkers, there's Manadium, there's um, what's the ritual deck, the new ritual deck, the low and stuff like that, so um, with the Skull Guardian crap, what is that, what is that deck, voiceless, there you go, voiceless, yeah, so draw is really good in my locals, so just take that out for whatever is better for your locals. Ash, because every now and then you get the random branded player at my locals, there are quite a few, so that is pretty good. And obviously Imperm is the best hand trap at the moment, good against Snake, and then it's good against pretty much most other things. So yeah, really nice. And then the last one was just one called by. And that rounds it off for the main deck. I think it's 43 cards, um, bear with. It's only 41 cards, so that makes sense on why it was a bit consistent for me, but yeah, just 41 cards. Pretty good, again, absolutely loved it. Um, yeah, I'm disappointed that this is the way that we got to go because Although it's good, I don't enjoy it as much as the combo-y, the, the slightly more combo-y, but I am a mid-ranged duelist, really. I do prefer those decks, but yeah, the cash tier stuff just feels a bit like I'm cheating almost. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but yeah, moving on. So for our extra deck, we're obviously playing, we'll start with the red eye stuff. So we're obviously playing two flare metal. So there was actually against the code talker person. Um, I made two flare metal, a Shangra, and I had a Fenrir on board. So um, this deck can go off and you can do quite a bit. And obviously if you summon both these, they they only get eight effects because that's a thousand damage. Um, just bear in mind, this is not like Masquerade, like the Masquerade, the Blazing Dragon from uh, Despia. This is only, this is on resolution, whereas Masquerade is you have to pay the life points to activate a card. Flare Metal is on resolution. So if some, so if someone activates Dark Ruler no more and you've got two Masquerades on field, you're taking the 12 damage because you have to pay to play. Whereas Flare Metal, if they activate Dark Ruler while you have these on board, on resolution, these will be negated so you won't have, um, you don't have to pay anything. Um, so just bear that in mind and don't get caught out with that. Don't try to like cheat basically. Um, then for the other cards, obviously we're still playing the one Black Comet. Um, this is good for going for time and it's the second best Red Eyes Fusion. Um, and then Red Eyes Dark Dragoon is the, the other one, obviously, because it's the best Red Eyes Fusion monster. I wish Slash Dragon didn't have to be targeted to be negated because then it would just be worlds better. Um, but unfortunately it does, so it is what it is. Then obviously, moving on, I'll move those up a little bit. So, moving on, um, like you've already seen, uh, we're obviously playing one Mirror Jade, one Albion, one Rindabra, and we're playing one Sprint. So, the reason we're playing these, obviously Mirror Jade is such a good card. Albion is a light, um, so it's just, yeah, I wanted to play it in and I was wondering what am I more likely to play against, a dark deck or a light deck? And even the, some of the dark decks like Branded and stuff, they still end on a lot of light monsters. So I went for Albion instead. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Rindbrum. So Rindbrum is for there for two reasons. So one, you can fuse with a beast, beast warrior or winged beast monster. So if you're playing against Snake Eyes Fire King, then you can fuse with the Fire Kings. Um, so that's why he's in here for one reason. And the second reason is if you send him to the graveyard and say you fuse straight into a mirror jade, you can now use Rindron in the graveyard on another turn, on a different turn, obviously. You can't do it the same turn. Um, on a different turn, if you didn't kill them, to use it to fuse into an Albion or a Sprint. So it's two effects really in there. And then Sprint is because you can fuse with anything with Sprint because it's anything special summoned to that game. So the only time that you can't fuse is with uh, Flunderies, but then also you can fuse into Rindbrum with the Flunderies cards. So, like, is there? It's, it's here and there. I think these ones are probably the best ones. You could swap Albion for Lubelion, but um, also with Albion is what I like. Or what is that? If you've used so one of the games, I had to use my Dark Magician with one for one to summon Black Metal. Then, if I was able to resolve my spheres, summon my Albaz, and fuse, I could have fused into Albion and then banished um, a Dragon and Dark Condition from my grave and made a Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Um, so I had the option of Dragoon or Mirror Jade. So really, really good, really liked it. So um, yeah, just bear that in mind. Obviously it might be better to play the Lubelion because then I can shuffle back the Dark Magician and the um, Red Eyes. So then now I've got more Red Eyes in rotation. But yeah, it's just something I need to think about really. Moving on into cash tier stuff. So obviously I'm just playing one Shang because it's a red eyes deck, it's not it's not cash tier deck, so one is more than enough. Um, big eye just for going second, really good to just take someone's monster, just that's your monster now. Um, I've gone for Zeus over what's it called? Sky Crisis or whatever the fuck they're called. Typhon. So the reason I've done that is because then with this I can go make a number eleven, take their monster. Attack, make a Zeus, work the field, then I can play. Do you know what I mean? Then I can carry on playing. But with Typhon, I would have to do that. Then I can just bounce one of their cards and then I'm kind of locked as well. So that's why I went for Zeus. And the last four cards, obviously we're playing one Striker Dragon, one Pissy, one Spheres, and then obviously one of the best cards at the moment, a Little Knight. Um, I understand Little Knight is really expensive. So I would just play like a different form of removal. So just play like a unicorn or 
um, something like that. This is literally just there for going second removal. When I go strike a dragon, strike a, and then met black metal, add something, banish, summon, um, then I can make a guard dragon, then go into Little Knight with the two monsters that I have on the field, and then obviously Little Knight is going to banish something, and then obviously I can chain it if they try to chain something, and then I get rid of another monster. So, or it just baits more interaction. So that's why I've got Little Knight in it, but you could just play a unicorn if you think, or a, um, a phoenix or something like that. Something with removal, a Cerberus, just anything that has some sort of removal that helps you out going second. And um, yeah, that's it really. Um, the flex spots for me are probably, I could probably take out the Zeus. Could probably, I never needed to make it once. I could probably take out the Zeus and you could probably take out maybe the Albion. Um, and so you've got two flex spots and obviously the black comet is always a flex spot it's just i don't want to i want to play more red eye stuff they just don't have them uh, so yeah that's it really those are like the ones that i think are the most flex spots or the only flex spots really but um yeah let me know what you think of the deck guys um how would you play it? I might try and take this. I might try and see if I can film my locals. Just my camera needs a better memory card, um, and I'll try and film locals and then get some of those videos up online, um, up on YouTube. If you would like that, then just obviously leave a comment down in the, in the comments down below. We're almost there at thousands subscribers. We did we did push towards 950, and then we've started to pull away a little bit. That's obviously my fault because I've not been uploading. But um, yeah, I've rammed on for long enough. Let me know what you think of this build, guys. How do you play Red Eyes? I ask you every video, but leave your comments in the section down below. I do read them. I do go through them. I do try to interact with you guys. Occasionally, I do obviously let some slip, but that's just because life is busy. And um, I might see it at one point, open it, read it, and then not have the time to reply. And I think of plan replying later and just forget. But um, that's just life, guys. I don't ignore you intentionally. I, I plan to respond to all of you. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.